Once upon a time, in the world of Elderwood, there were two kingdoms, both equally good. One called neurotypical, the other autism. Now the neurotypicals were quite social beings. They relied on each other and had an expensive social networking scheme. But in the kingdom of autism, across the way, growing up was quite different, and so was the way that they played. It wasn't that people were less important, but social life was slightly distorted. Hand-holding not always a must, nor touching or hugs. Noises were sometimes avoided. Social appropriateness, not so important. But there they had artists, musicians, mathematicians, and others with gifts that varied like no other kingdom, far or away. So it so happens a small boy, growing up in neurotypical land, got angry at his dad, the king, because his father said teenagers shouldn't play in a band and sing, and definitely, definitely no piercings. So up and out, Roger decided to climb the wall to see what was down with this place of it all, oh, called autism on the other side of it all. He was hell-bent on going to China if that meant he could be an emancipated minor. He happened upon another king's daughter, and she was quite strange. Though nothing seemed openly wrong with her, he noticed it quite the same. He asked for her hand, and told her dad, I want to marry your daughter. I love her. What do you say? As you're her father. And so it happened the kingdoms were one. And that's how two kids fell in love one day.